Natasha, why'd you call our show for help? Because I am fed up with Josh Crap. I want him to be able to stand up and take help me take care of my son. How positive are you that Josh is the father? I am positive all the way. There's no doubt in my heart. I guess as a backstory, we've got to find out what your relationship with Josh was like. Were you boyfriend girlfriend? Was it just? Uh... Yes, we was we was boyfriend and girl. I mean boyfriend and girlfriend. It was a difficult pregnancy, I understand, right? I was living on the couch and I was walking back and forth from home to work, and I was pregnant. And I couldn't, I didn't stop working until it was time for me to lay down and have my baby. And Josh wasn't there at all. For, in fact, no, he, he, was he wasn't even in, to be found. He wasn't no, in town. He, and then uh, apparently there were some serious problems the day that Jamon Jema, was born, right? Jamon was born and he had, his heart stopped. Like he came out and his heart stopped completely. And then out of nowhere, it just came back. It just came back out of nowhere. And I've been dealing with Jamal by myself. With Like, my mama that helps me. My little sister, my little sister, they help buy stuff. I have to call them sometimes because I need help. This is very emotional for you. I understand yeah, that because these memories are difficult for you. But Josh says he didn't even know the baby was born. Of course he didn't. He was away. He was away for a minute, but before then, I told him everything. I told him, you know, when, you know, when I first got pregnant, I told him, you know, I was letting him know clues and this and this and that. Of course, he wouldn't know Jemai wasn't born if he didn't call. After I told him that I was, you know, I didn't want him calling me. Yes, he stopped calling. So He gave up. So a couple of months later, after Jamon was born, Josh comes back into town, finds out from yes. a friend, you had the baby. Yes, and, and Jamon was, you know, he was, you know, interacting with Jamon for a couple of days until he was like, that ain't my baby, that bitch a hoe. That bitch is a ran through, she this and she that and she this. And after that, we started arguing, debating on Facebook. We took it to where everybody started seeing it. So, everybody knows our So all your, all your business is on Facebook? He's criticizing yes. you on yes. Facebook. He went on Facebook talking about that bitch is a ran through. She this and she that. I have been in depression. I've been through all of that. Does Jermon look like Josh? He doesn't look like Josh. He looks like me. But he has jo Josh cheeks. You know, he has his little little fingers going on. And then that little pointy lip they got going on. And has he done anything? Has he no, done anything Josh to take care of Josh? Josh haven't did Jermon? anything to so, Josh haven't did anything to help me, but not one bit. You know what he says? You pushed him away. You didn't want him in Jamon's life. I, yes, I, I, I admit, I, that day I told you I had called him, and I told him after that rumor, you know, don't, don't, don't talk to me. You know, it's a child... It's a child in this, you know, he should kept calling, kept calling. Oh, I don't care what she say. He could have kept calling me. So your mother, Connie, has helped out, right? Yes. And, and she's not too happy, is she? No, she's not. Yeah. She criticizes him, right? Yes. You know, this is your first child, and this is... Yes. But Josh has two other kids, and Josh yes, says... Yes, he has Josh two says, other kids that he take care of. I know. He, he, they come over his house. He spends time with him. Right. And it's sometimes that I see that on Facebook, and I'll be like, okay, why he, you know, why he can't interact with my son? What, what's wrong with my son? Well, we're going to have the answer for you, trust me, but, you know, when we come back... We're going to hear what Josh and Natasha's mother, Connie, has to say, and we're going to have the results of the DNA.